So we're facing against an ephemeral deck, I guess. It's going to be an ephemeral deck. <coughs> ephemeral deck who is going to further these three. Instead, it's just an accessory. Alright. What to pick? I definitely need the Thermogenic Beam. I need Vi to be pumped. I can't have this in any dungeons. This is an Ionia deck. It has a splash of Ionia, so I should be wary of deny. Let's see. Hmm. He's planning something. I wonder what. Okay. Oh, there goes that. Huh. What to do? I could try and kill this for 6 mana. 6 damage, yep. There's no way he's probably he's gonna escape that. He only has 2 mana then. Good. Okay, so we're gonna take 2. I'm gonna play as reactively as possible until the opponents is exhausted because I have a habit of going in and out which isn't which isn't ideal it's not ideal so far as I've heard as you can see I'm not a great player yet that's the goal we have to be great so I'm trying to study as much as I can I'll take that sure should I put down Elise or should I wait? Okay, you know what? I'll I'll drop her. I don't fight. I think Elise is in this Karina deck control because she has the capacity to um, to generate jump blockers, but that's not going to work or bode well with against overwhelm deck for those that has overwhelm. Okay, I need to remove this first. So for the threat that I'm seeing is this guy. I don't have enough to ensure that he'll die, but I have to I have to make I ha I really need to make that choice. Oh great. That's just nice. I don't want to kill it with vengeance though. I could kill her with Vi. Or kid kill this person with Vi. Okay. I wonder what he'll do. He can pull out a discipline anytime. Or that shield from Ionia. He has 4 mana, so I'm wondering what he's gonna do. He could also glimpse. So he's taking time to de decide. That means he has a pretty assorted various er, er, ways. But looks like he did not want to play. I want to play Static Shock to these two. Ooh, a Scourge, interesting. Hmm. What should I do? I guess I'll just do this. That way I could at least mitigate the damage that this thing will do. Alright. Oh, 
right. Should be fine, I guess. I, should, I guess that's fine. Let me know in the comment section. If... Ooh, there's the deny. At least we're safe for now. He really wants to kill at least. I'm not sure why, but okay. Let's use Vi to eliminate all these, all the units he has. Are we gonna get a black sphere? Because I honestly don't know what the premise of this deck is, aside from it generating a lot of units. So I'm guessing there's no more deny. That should be sufficient to kill Hecarim. I'm um, if I can kill that person and ensure that if, if I can kill a unit and ensure that it doesn't survive with raw damage, I'll do it. I'll reserve these non-conditionals with something that's tougher to remove. I'm not sure if that's a good thinking though. Okay. Alright, I'll drop Ledros and try to end it next turn. So I have this and I have this so basically we seal the deal as long as he's not gonna have that stupid deny him again all right ooh all right okay I'll take it I don't mind You know what? I think I can do that. Six. Yeah, I can. I guess I can do that. Let's see if it works. Okay, here we go. That's game. Nice. I didn't expect to win against that. Actually, I always don't expect to win so that I don't get disappointed. But there we go. That's their first win. I'm gonna try to get rid of or to get out of this tier rank first. So we'll go for another one. I'm not so sure if we're gonna get like a good um, good matchup for this one. Every time I play Legends of Runeterra, I get the anxiety. I don't know why. I'm just not that confident that I will win. <laughs> and I'm scared to do stupid things. But we won't learn without doing those stupid things. So I hope that by the end of this, or I'll get better in the future. keep getting these weird decks. If I have Karina... Again, I don't know how the, pre the premise of this deck. So, I'll take Karina and... This one. I need the heal. I honestly don't know how to exactly play this deck except for, you know, drop the bomb when it's nine, when it's round 9 and try, just try to survive, but I don't know if there's any other trickiness to it. I'll drop a leech just to have that chump blocker, but it probably wasn't a good idea because I could just take it. It's just too... <clears throat> I'll take it. 
then I could attack for this one. Okay. Alright, here we go. We have the life the the life steal. Hmm. Oh no, it's Ash. I hate Ash. But luckily I can kill her quite easily. Thank you for letting me draw vengeance. I would honestly want to do something apart from vengeance because Ash has a pretty low health. I could um, do the. I could seriously just. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm sh I'm sure there's a possibility he he'll, he'll pull out an el elixir. There we go. And that should trigger the that get the ability and I'm not I don't know if falling for that was a bad idea or is it a good idea. I'll just try to do this. We must all make sacrifices. That should end the round. Again, I'm trying to play as reactive as possible. Okay, I don't mind. Elise already has a vulnerable. I might as well just leave her. Yeah, I could do it. Let's just hope that he'll use this to kill Elise so that I can ensure that she survives by having the Withering Whale. Okay, good. That's what we wanted. There's a possibility again because this is an Ionia deck and he has a lot of mana. See? See? What did I just tell you? But it's okay. I still get the health and he wasted another card just to keep him safe. I still have another turn to ri get rid of that guy. We're down to 6, 7, 8, 9. Still need to survive 3 rounds before Karina drops or Ledros. I'm gonna have to pass for now. Because I'm not sure if I want to set up for this one because I could clear the wave right now. Or I could choose to have blockers, which is something that I'd want now due to this guy. Is he gonna deny it? Are you gonna deny it, sir? Okay, no. Alright. We're lucky that he still doesn't have any, or he doesn't have any overwhelm units. That's, uh, from what I'm seeing, that's probably one of the easiest way to defeat Karina Control. You'll thank me later. I'm gonna drop this. Pumping up the poros. What deck is this? Probably brood. I don't know. Self brood, maybe. We all like doing that. He's not gonna attack. Weird. If he's not gonna attack, I might as well do this.
I don't know why I did that. They're not threatening me, so I should have waited. Ah, oh, gosh, I need to get rid of her. I, I really need to get better at this. Oh, great. Luckily, it does not have... I don't... I don't... Stop, Josh. Don't do it. Wait for it to become a threat. I hope Karina does her magic now. Please be spell. Woohoo, yes! We got them. <laughs> Alright, that's another win so far with the Karina control but we are f to be fair we are facing weirdly structured decks so um, I do understand that Karina Veracity control has recently been, or has been nerfed in comparison to her u to her initial incarnate so um, we'll see how well she she'll perform when we play um, next time in bronze so I'll see you guys bye